Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, this is this problem that says that due to an unequal distribution of fuel in the wing tanks, the center of gravity of the airplane fuselage A and wings B and C are located as shown. If these components have weights W, A, W, B, and W, C, determine the normal reactions at the wheels D, E, and F. Okay, so let me switch the page of my notes. For D, E, and F, we're trying to find D, E, and F. Draw my little table on the right so I don't lose eye on my target. Now, let's draw the free body diagram. You know that you have a weight here at C. WC, the weight at A, WA, and the weight at B, WB. That is a B, guys. I swear that's a B. Okay, so then you have the reactions. Let's call it E, reaction F, and reaction D. Now, everything is happening on the C axis, so that's why I'm leaving it as letters. Let's keep it simple, keep it neat. And let's get to it. So the first and obvious um, equation is sum of the forces in the c-axis and it is equal to 0 and it is d plus e plus f which are the reactions at the wheels minus all the weights w a w b and w c So this comes out to be D plus E plus F is equal to 59 kip. I didn't just add all the pounds because I didn't want to be dealing with all the zeros. So I just transform it to 59 kip. If you want to do 59,000 pounds, that's up to you. Now, this gives us our first relationship. We would need three equations in order to find this. But let's just do, this is our first one. Second one is, I'm going to do the sum of the moments at y is equal to 0. Why did I decide to do sum of the moments at y? Because if you look at it, in the y-axis, you have the d and the e forces sitting, right? And if you do the sum of the moments uh, at the y, assuming kind of clockwise is positive, um, you, you automatically are canceling out d and e because they're creating no moment because they're sitting right at the axis. And this is going to be easy because you know all the other variables except f. So you should be able to find f um, using some of the moments at y. That's why I picked it second. So what is creating a moment about the y-axis? You got the weight at a times 7 feet. So that is this weight times this distance right here. And that is, that is positive because it's trying to turn the axis counterclockwise. Now you have the weight of B times 4, which is B is right here, and the distance between B and the Y axis is 4, and it's also positive because it's also trying to turn it counterclockwise. And the same thing for WC, which is a distance right here, right here is 4, and where WC is applied, and it's also trying to turn it counterclockwise. And last but not least, we have F, and F times 27, because that's the distance from where F happens all the way to the y-axis. But that is actually trying to turn it clockwise, so it's negative. So F, um, you have WA, WB, and WC, you have them right here, 45 keep, 8 keep, and 6 keep. So that comes out to be, and then you add them all up and you divide it by 27, and that comes out to be 13.74 keep. Kilo pounds. Um, so, we found one of our, our one of our variables. So let's find another one. Now I'm going to do some of the moments at about the 
x-axis is equal to 0 and is equal to uh, the only forces creating moments about the x-axis are d, uh, ds and doll, bs and boy, c and e. a and f are not creating any moment about the x-axis because they're sitting right at the xc plane, so they're not creating any moment. So that being said, the moment created by the d force is d times 14 because it's the distance between d and the x-axis and um, d is going up so it's actually trying to turn the axis clockwise that's why it's negative then the weight b times 6 because the weight b is going down the distance from where the weight happens which is b to the xc plane is 6 and it's trying to turn it it's positive because it's trying to turn this whole thing kind of clockwise. Now, minus the weight C times 8, the weight C, the distance between this, the, where the weight happens and the XC plane, is 8 feet because it's unevenly distributed. That's why it's a different distance than, than the weight B. And um, it's negative because it's trying to turn it clockwise. And the last one is E times 14. Now E is trying to turn it counterclockwise and 14 is the distance between E and the X C plane. So <clears throat> that being said, you know WB and WC, okay? And what you're gonna get is that zero is equal to 14e minus 14d because wb times 6 minus wc times 8 is equal to 0. They cancel each other out. When you plug in the numbers, you will see that. So this is what you get. 0 is equal to 14e minus 14d, which is interesting because this means that e is equal to d. So if e is equal to d, and we're going to plug this into equation 1 and we're going to plug this into equation 1 as well remember equation 1 is d plus e plus f is equal to 59 so i'm going to plug in over here i'm going to plug in 13.74 which i found here and i know that d and e are the same so this looks something like this i'm going to know that when i plug them in i know that d plus e is equal to 45.26 but I know that d is equal to e, so that means that 2d is equal to 2e, and it's equal to 45.26. So I solve for, I can solve for them and say that d is equal to e, and it's equal to 22.63. Keep 22.63. Keep. And um, yep, final answer for D, final answer for E, and final answer for F.